Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and a, another thread up unboxing. This is a little bit more than just a thread up unboxing video though. This is a collaboration. There's 11 of us creators that have ordered the name brand handbag box. We all picked it up when they were offering 20% off on the website. So it was a little incentive to try this box because they can be a little risky, as all the boxes are, but this is definitely not my favorite one to order. But when I found out that a few were collabing, I was more than happy to order it and so excited to participate because I absolutely love doing these. So I'm the last video for tonight. If for some reason you're just hearing about the collab now, I do have all of the other creators linked in my description box their channels, and also the link to their premiere. So you can go back and check out their videos. And we will be airing another set of videos tomorrow night for the remaining creators. It was just too much to fit into one day. So if you are new to my channel, my name's Lindsay, and I post mystery unboxing videos Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you do enjoy that type of content, I would love to have you subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video tonight and make sure you chat with us below um, in the live chat if you're joining live for the premiere. So before we get the box open, I did want to let you know that I'm running a special on my Poshmark page. I will have that uh, linked in my description box. I'm going to be running a sale 40% off any of my handbags that are currently listed in my Poshmark closet. So if you're a subscriber and you see something in there that you're interested in purchasing, simply add it to a bundle and let me know that you're a subscriber and I will send you the offer. I'm going to run that through the end of the week, so ending on Saturday evening, just to give you some time if you're a few days late in watching this video. But I thought it would be fun um, since I'm highlighting some purses today and hopefully to get some of my inventory moving. So that's exciting, hopefully. And um, I will be offering for sale the uh, purses in the video um, that I'll be un unboxing today. So I will put some pricing on the screen for the items that I open. If you are interested in buying anything from tonight's video, you would simply send me an email and let me know which item you're interested in. I would need your mailing address if you've never purchased from me before and the price does not include shipping. So I would calculate that based on your location and weight, and I would send you an invoice through PayPal. So, um, and I will put the price on the screen. So let's go ahead and get this open. I'm very excited to see what we received. It did arrive in this large box and it came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So you do get four purses in the box and one accessory. And normally you get Kate Spade, Michael Kors, um, but I'm hoping that maybe there's a Tory Burch or something like that in here. Here is a first peek at the box. So I am seeing a beautiful red in there and I believe it's a Kate Spade. I ordered this box back on January 22nd and like I said, they were $80 plus $9.99 shipping and tax. And here is the beautiful Kate Spade. I absolutely love this color. It's got a top handle and then also a longer crossbody strap. And it has the Kate Spade logo there. It's a pebbled leather. And it does have a zip around on the bottom. So I don't know if that possibly expands out. Yeah, so it does um, unzip a little bit and you get a little bit of expansion. But either way, it's a cool detail. A lot of times the Kate Spades will come a little bit trashed in these boxes, but this one looks like it's in good condition. And I do love the size of this one. It's, you know, really, um, you know, enough that you could fit your essentials in, but it's not overwhelmingly big. Um, there is a little bit of wear along the piping, just a bit of color loss and also on the back there. 
So it is always hard to see everything in the video when we're recording. So if I do miss any major flaws, I will point that out um, with some text on the screen. So there is some wear, but you know, overall, I think this one looks pretty good. Um, just the main issue is some scuffs on the piping and then a little bit of color loss on the corners. Um, the strap does detach, um, silver hardware. So you could carry it top handle um, over your arm or with the crossbody strap. And it looks like the strap is in good condition. Um, you know, maybe a little chunk out of the edge coat there, but nothing bad. Um, I really like this one. A lot of times the Kate Spades are not in the best condition. So that one is very nice. And this is what I was hearing with all the chains rattling. It is a Rebecca Minkoff. And this one is actually pretty nice. It's a Saffiano leather. So a lot of times the ones that I've gotten before are suede and they get to be really trashed. But this one is pretty nice. It is gray and then it has silver hardware. And it does have the feet on the bottom and the back zip pocket. Our zipper functions. So pretty good condition along the corners. Maybe some um, wear on the edge coat on the corner there, but nothing too bad. And the strap you can take off or leave it on. It does not adjust, but it is long enough where you could wear it cross body. And it looks like the metal and everything is in good condition. The inside has a slip pocket and um, kind of like a zigzag pa fabric pattern in there. Okay, so I totally missed that we're missing one of the feet on the bottom. I did not see that. And there is some wear on the metal on the bottom feet. So that's a bit of a bummer, but I don't think it's the end of the world since it's on the bottom, but definitely a flaw on that one but the overall leather is in very good condition. So for being a Rebecca Minkoff, I'm not upset about the condition on that one. And next up we have another Rebecca Minkoff. Now this one is a belt bag, it looks like, and it's got kind of a chevron pattern in the leather. And it's got a black fabric interior. It does need a little bit of a wipe down in there, but it's not anything bad. So that would zip up like that. And you do have the tassel. And then it has a front zipper pocket. Yeah. And the strap does adjust. So, you know, a lot of people just wear those over their chest like that. So, this one is a really soft leather and I'm really not seeing any major condition issues on this one. It will need a wipe down on the inside and you know, there's some wear maybe on the leather here, some smoothing, but overall it looks pretty good. So I do really like the style of this one. It's something different. And next up we have like a bucket style bag. And this has a really pretty floral print on it. And this is Tory Burch. Wow. Okay, so this is leather, I think, on the outside. Um, and it, like I said, it has this beautiful floral print and it may need a little bit of a wipe down. There is some scuffs on the corner. This is beautiful. And the handles are a nice burgundy leather, really soft leather. 
And along the top, there is some, you know, loose stitching, kind of frayed stitching. And that handle does have a little bit of a tear there, but nothing that's affecting the use, but there's just a little bit of a tear. So not a huge deal. And the inside is pretty clean. There's a slip pocket. And you do have your Tory Burch on the slip pocket there. And then it looks like it does have a drawstring closure if you wanna cinch it up a little bit. And then the Tory logo is on the top of the tote there. This is so pretty. I really, really like this one. And it did not jump out as being Tory Burch. I was thinking this could be Kate Spade at first, but this is even better. So I'm excited to look into this one. It's definitely like a bucket style, similar to the Louis Vuitton um, Neo Noé. So um, this is a really nice size and very, very pretty. So that was our fourth item. And we do have another tote in there. So I'm guessing they included this one as the accessory, which no problem there. The last item is a Kate Spade and it is a large tote. And it is a smooth black leather and then it has a cream underside. So it does have a scratch over here. It's the bottom, it does have all four of the feet on that one. There is a mark there. And the back side does have a card slot where you put your ID. I do love this hang tag here with the Kate Spade. And there's the logo there. And your handles um, do have some frayed stitches, maybe a little wear along the edge coat. This is a really nice size tote. So the interior is a little bit dirty. There are some ink marks back over there. And um, the inside has a flap with the Kate Spade and a zipper pocket. And that lifts up. So really, really spacious tote and, you know, very simple style, but really nice. So this was an excellent box. I am actually pleasantly surprised with this box. The most condition issues were on the Rebecca Minkoff with the missing foot, but this was great. Um, we had the Kate Spade tote, beautiful. We had the gorgeous Tory Burch. We had the Rebecca Minkoff belt bag the Rebecca Minkoff crossbody purse and the Kate Spade in the beautiful red. So I'm excited about this box. I think that it will be a profit. One of the better ones that I've had. So I'm really thrilled with this one. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about the box and let me know what you think about the other boxes that you've seen tonight and how this one ranks. Um, hopefully the other creators are getting boxes just as good, if not better. So I hope everyone, you know, is able to make a nice profit on their box. But let me know if there's one that stands out, if somebody got one that's a lot better. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'm excited to see you back tomorrow. I will not be posting a video, but I will be in the chat watching the other videos that are premiering. So tune in tomorrow. I will have all of the videos linked in my description box and the schedule for tomorrow. So I will see you then and I will be back on Thursday on my channel with a brand new unboxing.